What is the biggest enemy of the gadget owner? Some might say clumsy fingers when they drop those expensive devices, but probably the most serious enemy of gadgets and gadget owners everywhere is lightning. It's incredible how many gadgets, connected devices and the like are taken out by lightning strikes. Of course, there are lightning protection devices out there, but what if you could also detect the lightning before it strikes and decide how you're going to respond to that? With me in the studio, I have Jorgen Nielsen, director of Jackstech and inventor of a lightning protection and detection device. This is the Astrophobe, and the Astrophobe is able to detect lightning strikes from 40 kilometers away. I've been using it for a while, and when I look at the lightning strike rate, or strike meter, you might uh, call it, it's detected more than 600 lightning strikes, or at least that's what it's showing me. It also detects strikes that are not serious enough to measure or to at least count on the device itself. It then disconnects your line, making sure that the device connected to that line is safe, and it remains disconnected while the storm is being detected by the device. I'm going to ask Jorgen to tell us a little more about the device. Jorgen, why do we need another lightning detection or protection device? Also, the majority of surge protectors available today protect quite well against lightning that comes through on mains equipment, on your mains line. But nothing out there really protects you from a surge of lightning that comes through your telephone line. Sadly, that's where you've got the most sensitive equipment connected as well. Often downstream of your router, you're connected to an Ethernet network, a wired network. Lightning comes in through your router, travels through your Ethernet network, and basically fries everything that's connected to it. The only safe way of protecting that equipment is to unplug the line. Of course, that's inconvenient. If you're not at home and a storm comes up, then you know, you're not there to unplug it, and uh, you don't want to be running back and forth. Of course, it's very dangerous to unplug a line to actually physically hold that wire during a storm. So the idea was born of why not create a device that simply unplugs your line before the storm gets too close and thereby making everything downstream of that safe. That makes sense. Uh, the big difference to me is the fact that it detects the storm while it's still on its way. How does that work? Yes, there's actually a radio built inside there. There's a whole lot of electronics inside that little white box, uh, computer, um, radio network. What it does is it looks at the pulses being generated by the storm. Every time that big strike comes arcing down to the ground, it actually generates a massive radio transmission through the air. Uh, the astrophobe detects that transmission, so it's completely autonomous. It ranges the transmission from the storm depending on the intensity and the number of strikes, calculates the distance. In the menu, you program what distance you feel safe. As soon as the storm gets too close to you, it unplugs the line. That makes a lot of sense. How well has it been received? Very well so far. It's new on the market, brand new. Uh, we've had a lot of technical reviews. I'm sitting here with you today having another one. Um, the reviews have actually been amazing. Superlative words being used, which is very gratifying to see. Um, it's available for sale now. It's literally just started. We started selling online, and it'll be in the consumer retail stores pretty soon. Planning to distribute it through Africa? Yes, in fact, the RTCZ, the Intertropical Convergence Zone, they've got huge problems with lightning, mm -hmm. places like Uganda, Nigeria, quite a high ADSL installed base in some of those countries as well. So yes, and of course we want to get it into the States as well. And uh, finally, what do you have in mind for a next version of the device? Well, the next generation is going to be a lot more sophisticated than that it'll talk to your cell phone. So if you're away from home, you'll get a message coming through to your phone to a custom app saying, Lightning's approaching your house, it may be disconnecting you soon. So don't forget, of course, these days lots of people have got NAS drives, their own personal cloud sitting in their home or their offices, they what they want to access. So it'll be nice to get a message to your phone and know what's going on back at your house. Thank you. That's the inventor, Jorgen Nielsen, of the Astrophobe. Just finally, I just wanted to uh, mention that it has numerous settings that you can change and uh, decide how sensitive you want the device uh, to be, also what you want it uh, to measure. This, in effect, is an odometer, which we know as the thing that measures speed and distance in a vehicle. But now we have an, an, an odometer for lightning strikes.